So now we welcome back Hamish, who's been out to look at another Mastercraft kitchen. Morning, Hamish. Good morning, guys. That's right. I got to go out with Kristen Reed and uh, meet homeowner Lorraine Rose out at a beautiful sort of bush set uh, mm. property out in West Auckland. Shall nice. we take a look? Yeah, let's yes. do it. Well, now that the kitchen's complete and we're using it, it works out fabulously. Actually, better than we expected. It's a big area that we can spread out. We've got two young boys, so, you know, their main feature is the fridge, so they're in there and we can still be working without, um, you know, sort of banging into each other and, and we can spread out and, and use our spaces really well. Kristen, as a designer, what's the first thing that sort of stuck out to you when you walked into this kitchen? The definition of the space. The designer uh, helped work with the builder to put in the return walls, the wing walls, which have jibbed just like an any interior wall, to really define the space in a big open plan room. It doesn't feel like the kitchen's leaking into the dining room and into the entrance. It's really, this is where the kitchen is. Okay, who designed the kitchen? Warren Billet of Mastercraft Kitchens New Lynn. Warren sat with us and we told him what we, what we liked, but we said we're not kitchen designers, we don't know what to do. He came up with concepts and ideas and which just totally changed the original plan and we loved it from the start. Yeah, so Warren's chosen two materials for this kitchen which is really fashionable, but it does actually serve a purpose. On the back wall, he's broken it up by putting some open shelves either side of this overhead cupboard so it doesn't feel so heavy with a big white cupboard on the back wall, it's really breaking it up. And use that same material for the island back panel and side panels to make it look more like furniture from the living room and use that colour through to the pantry as well. Right, so that then creates depth for us too, doesn't it? By this continuity of material that's sort of staggered. Yes, it is. It does create depth, especially with running the tiles right through into this pantry scullery area as well. We had regular contact with him and he changed his ideas sometimes along the way and thought, look, I've thought about this. I think um, if you look back to your kitchen, you're going to need to have tiles on both walls because it, visually it will look better if you're sitting at the dining room table. When you're coming in from the front door, um, you've got an island here, you want that to look part of the furniture rather than a kitchen piece. He got us to move walls um, and just continually we went through ideas and he put his ideas forward and, and you know we could change it, there was no problem at all but um, I have to say we didn't change many. So uh, these clients actually already had all their appliances for something like a year before they got the kitchen sorted? Yeah and I guess it was a tricky situation because you may not have actually noticed, but there's not a lot of wall space in this kitchen. So by having a wall oven, it was a bit tricky to try and incorporate. Um, but Warren was really clever and actually like, put them over here. So creating wall space and a really good working flow and a really good flow of motion in through to your scullery. My favourite part of this kitchen is this electric lift up door. That's so cool. Yes, it's actually not the best part. There's a button to bring the door back down. Out of control. Okay, I mean, this is obviously very cool, but this could help people too in their sort of day-to-day -day life, couldn't it? Yeah, I mean, if this unit was installed in a, in a home with a higher stud, it makes good sense to be able to press a button to bring the door back down, because you're only using the things on perhaps the first shelf. Well, my favourite part of the kitchen, it's, I love the clean look, the white, I love the electrics on the drawers, I mean, from what we had before, just it's it's lovely, and we can all use it, and, and I can spread out, and it's the size, just the, the workability of it. There was no limit to what he hadn't thought through to the little stickies over the, the drill holes and the detail was more than we could have ever imagined. This kitchen costs between forty to $45,000 so you could really achieve this look at a lower price point. So just going for your ordinary drawers, just even just push to open or you know drawers with a handle will um, cut the cost down considerably. Plus, Replacing the acrylic doors, which we love, but you know, swapping that out for melamine, it'd be a lot more cost effective. So you can really get this look, but without that big price tag. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Nice that you wore the same shirt, Hamish. Yeah. Yeah. No, I only have one. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you looked as smart as that kitchen. That was beautiful, wasn't it? It, it? it was a lovely kitchen, and what was most interesting was how much the people loved their new kitchen mm. and how they got everything they wanted out of it. No, that's cool. That's yeah, exactly nice. what you want too. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you very much, Hamish. Great to see you.